Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, it is November and that means in my home I'm getting ready for the holidays. I'm super excited. In 2020 we need a little extra joy, don't we? And today I'm doing a really fun haul. I'm doing an Amazon holiday haul. This stuff was actually inspired by the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. Um, every year Joanna Gaines comes out with a beautiful holiday line and I picked up a bunch of stuff from the holiday line this year, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually gonna do a video haul of that later in the week. So hit the red subscribe button if you're interested in seeing that. I got a lot of awesome stuff. But some of the items that I liked from the line, I felt were like a little pricier than what the item was worth. And so I thought, let me go on Amazon and see if I can find something a little similar. And I really scored, I found a lot of stuff. So the items I bought are inspired by Joanna Gaines. And I'm really into that like Scandi holiday thing. So a lot of wood, a lot of natural elements. I'm gonna dive right in. This here is probably my favorite thing that I got online. This is a, I think 13, maybe 12. It's a pack of tea towels. It's like that flower sack material. And it's just got this really, really pretty detailing here. I love this like classic red stripe. And the Hearth and Hand line had tea towels that were very similar to this and you got two for $10, which is not a horrible price, but they were sold out. I couldn't get them anyway. And then I found these, I got a 12 pack for under $20. So a better price and I got a bunch. I can use these in the kitchen. They'll look really sweet. I can use them as napkins. I just love that it's classic. It doesn't scream Christmas, holidays, but it still, you know, it goes with that. I got these really beautiful wood snowflake ornaments. It's a pack of 10. I just love the detailing on these. I think I got this for like $6 for the 10 pack. Really pretty. You can use these on a Christmas tree. You can also use it on garland. You can use it on presents. A lot of different ways. In fact, I might pick up another pack of these. I love them so much. This would also be really great for crafting with kids. I got some baker's twine, which is, you know, pretty simple and basic, but at Target, they, I think it was maybe the sugar paper line was selling this, and it was pretty expensive in the store, and I got this really cheap on Amazon. I'm gonna link all these items below for you guys, and kind of in that same vein, I picked up some velvet velvet ribbon. I got a few spools of Joanna Gaines fabric ribbon, which I'll show you in the next haul, which is super pretty, but they had some velvet ribbons that were a little overpriced in my opinion, and I got the same thing on Amazon, and I got a ton ton of yardage here. Yeah, so this is the like red and I got 25 yards and I wanna say I paid maybe $5. You see it's that really pretty color. And then I got just black velvet as well. I love velvet ribbon at the holidays and I'm gonna use this to wrap presents. I also use, I love to get um, greenery and kind of like braid velvet ribbon into it. If you're doing garland along stairs, I think it's so pretty to drape velvet ribbon with it. So many ways you can use this. If you have just some evergreen that you pick outside, you can bundle it together, tie the velvet ribbon on it. I think it's so classic. Another item I was really excited about in the Joanna Gaines line is, she did this last year too. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Those antique sleigh bells are really trendy right now. They're kind of like chunkier than jingle bells. They have sort of a rectangular shape. And Joanna Gaines has some wreaths that have these antique bells on them, some garlands, um, and it's just a little pricey. I found two different things on Amazon that have these antique style bells. I love that song. So this one's just this really pretty garland and it's got these vintage looking bells. And even the kind of thread that it's on has a green and red tint to it. I think this is probably gonna end up in my foyer. I have a big mirror hanging over like an entry table and I'll probably drink this along the mirror, but really pretty and simple, delicate, I love that. And then I also just bought a package of the bells by themselves and these are kind of bigger. You can see I love this gold color. And I got two different shapes. I was excited about this because last year I was really interested in these bells too. And I couldn't find them inexpensive anywhere. Amazon was not selling them cheaply last year, but I guess this year they're kind of trendy enough that they have an inexpensive option. I got a pack of 15 maybe, and I think for under $10. Again, I'm gonna link everything below so you can check out the prices. But look how pretty these are. I've got a lot of ideas for these. I'm thinking um, some of that velvet ribbon, you know, tie that and you can tie that on to some greenery. I have a lot of evergreens outside my home, so I can pick some branches, tie some velvet ribbon, put some of the antique bells, really pretty. So the Hearth and Hand line at Target had for the holidays this really beautiful dog leash and collar in this classic Christmas plaid. I was so close to buying them for my dog Lucy. Um, if you're new to my channel, you might not know, but my family adopted a puppy last Christmas. That was my Christmas present from my husband. And she's a year old now. We just love her. And I thought she needed some holiday swag. And the Joanna Gaines 
leash and collar. They were so pretty, but I feel like they were maybe $20 each, maybe $15 each. I don't know, but for $10 total, I got these on Amazon. So it was $5 each. And I love that classic color. And Lucy is a black lab mix. She looks more lab than anything else. And so this is gonna be so pretty against her black color. So I got the collar and the leash. In fact, I'm gonna put these right on her. Now that I've showed you guys, it's November. We can be doing the, the tartan now, can't we? Really love that. I also got an item that is inspired by something I wanted to buy at Williams Sonoma. Um, I am totally into baking pies. I have a ton of pie recipes on my channel here. I'll maybe link some below. Um, but I always am impressed with those beautiful crusts you see, and I'm like, how are people doing that? And at Williams Sonoma, they were selling these pie crust punches where you can cut out different shapes to decorate your pie, and they were like leaf shapes. And I think they were $20 at Williams Sonoma. Well, on Amazon, I got the same exact thing for $6, and I got these little punches. I got a set of four. So it looks like it almost looks like a cookie cutter. So I got that shape, I got that. two leaves. I can't wait to make some Thanksgiving pies with these. In fact, um, William Snow also had this silicone mold where you could put pie crust and then peel it out and you got these strands of braids made out of dough that you would put along the perimeter of the pie crust. And I know Amazon sells something very similar, so I think I'm going to have to pick that up. This is something else I'm excited about. I love fairy lights at the holidays like anybody else, right? But I really love doing lights on remote control. If you've been to my channel before around holiday times, you know that at the holidays I always talk about remote control lights. Um, anyway, I wanted to get some quality ones to put up high on a garland. So I like doing it a battery operated remote control so that there's no cord like hanging down your wall and you don't have to go and plug in and out every time you want to do lights. I like to do a lot of lights so having them on a remote is very easy. And I got this set 100 lights so that's pretty good and it's 100 led lights i always like to get led so it doesn't get hot um and this was very cost effective too i can't remember the price but it was a good price i remember that again it'll be linked below so you can check it out for yourself this was highly rated and i like that it's bigger balls so i'm picturing this some garland above a window probably in my dining room and then some of these lights and if these work out well if i like them i'll probably order more the last few items are kind of cute and fun um i got this set of face masks so I feel like I have to explain because it seems so crazy. I think I got 20. Yeah, I think it's a, a set of 20. Um, and I paid about, I want to say 50 cents a mask. I don't, I, I don't think I paid a whole dollar a mask. I don't know, but they were inexpensive. And they're all these really fun Christmas shapes. Um, there's a hot chocolate and a gingerbread. What is this? I don't know. Oh, an eggnog. How cute. And the company that makes these is Spa Life. They have a lot of fast, uh, face masks on Amazon and they're highly rated. So it's not just, it sounds like stupid stuff. Like it's it's a good product. I've got this little snowman. Um, and I'm going to... I'm gonna use these myself. I love face masks, but I really got them to give um, to friends. I love doing Christmas packages, holiday packages, um, and particularly this year because of COVID, we're really not we're not gonna see anybody. We live far away from most of our loved ones, so I'm definitely gonna be going overboard on the holiday care packages this year. So yeah, I got a bunch. I can send to my sister, my sister-in-law, my girlfriends, my mom, my grandma. Uh, so yeah, package twenty. If you like to make care packages and you've got a lot of people to send to, I think that is a great option. Staying in line with the bath items, I got this set of bath bombs. I got this for my daughter. She loves bath bombs. I stock up on the Dollar Tree bath bombs usually for her, um, but she she really loves bath bombs that have the little hidden surprise in them. If you've ever experienced these bath bombs with your kids, you know little ones love them. Uh, and so these are a Christmas edition. You get a set of six, and inside each, I guess I'll open it up. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna leave it unopened so that she can open it. But inside each bath bomb, there is like a little, that's what one of them looks like. There's this little squishy toy. There's like a, a reindeer, there's a snowman, a Santa, and you can collect them and they're in like Christmas scents. Super fun. We actually had the same set at Halloween and each one had a little Halloween toy inside and it was a hit. She loved it. This is really cute. This would be a great gift for somebody who likes a festive bath. I don't know, if you, if you don't like a festive bath, that might sound really strange to you, but we like it in our household. 
Uh, and then this is really my last item. This is also for my daughter, and I was so excited to score this. Last year I tried to get it for my daughter and it had sold out already on Amazon. So if you want this for your child, check it out. It is an advent calendar of books, which I think is really awesome. You get 24 books. So this one is like general Disney characters. I want to say one was Frozen and one was Pixar. And then here's like a kind of a selection of the books. It's really cute. And I just, I, I love this as opposed to a general typical advent calendar. You open up like this and then you can open up each flap and there's a little book. And what a great keepsake that your child can, you know, enjoy even after the holidays are over. It looks like some of them are holiday winter themed, but not all of them. My daughter's gonna love this. We read books every night before she goes to bed. So I think that'll be really perfect. But like I said, it did sell out last year very quickly. So if you're interested, check it out, look into it early. And then I have one other item that I don't have here to show. Uh, it's down in my basement, but I thought I'd just tell you about it. Kind of like the um, battery operated lights. I got a set of 20 battery operated candles. I love candlelight, but I have a four year old. I have a giant puppy, two cats. Uh, so I don't really light a lot of flames, but this year I thought I would get a bunch of remote control candles and see if I like them. The reviews were really great for them. Um, people said it really looked like flickering candlelight. I can put them on bookshelves and everything and I'll be able to turn them all on and off with just one remote. Like it's a the reviews were really good. So I'm gonna link those below as well in case you're interested. Check that out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Let me know what your favorite item was. Let me know if you've picked something up on Amazon that I need to look into. I love getting ready for the holidays. I'm totally into it this year. Like I said, we all need a little of that holiday spirit, a little extra magic. Uh, like I said, I'm doing another haul video later this week, probably of the Hearth and Hand holiday line. I found gorgeous stuff. So hit that red subscribe button if you're interested and I will see you guys next time. Bye.